Okay, would you please introduce yourself and tell us why you're here? Hi, I'm R. Wayne Parsons and I'm a photographer and I'm here because this is a show of my work. Uh, tonight's the opening of this show that runs the entire month of May and the title of the show is Playing With Bones and it's a very literal title because the show is based around photographs that are uh, that involve bones and some other props. Uh, these are, I, I should say that no humans were killed in the making of these photographs. The bones are from small mammals such as fox, hedgehog, or maybe a beaver, I'm not quite sure what they're from, but small mammals. And I bought them at a biological supply company. And uh, I got interested because I saw some of these bones in a little shop that sells this sort of thing and I thought they were just interesting looking uh, objects and they might be interesting photographically so I bought a few and started playing with them and uh, after about a year of that or a year and a half this is what I came up with. And you just start, so you just started playing is what I just heard. Yes, yes. And after playing for a while, was there a point at which it was no longer playing? Well, it was, it was always a combination of hard work and play. You know, that's the way any, I think, any creative endeavor is. It's hard work, but it's also a, a sense of play of just taking the, the objects or the ideas and combining them in various ways and moving them, manipulating them, trying to come up with something that's just interesting to look at, interesting to think about. So, play in that sense. Okay. And do any of these have a particular meaning for you? Well, this one, I, the title of this one is Theory and Practice of Framing. <laughs> and that's not quite as meaningless as it may first sound because uh, to frame something is to isolate it from the environment to for the purposes of emphasizing the things we want to emphasize and usually we're talking about what's in a photograph or a, or a picture of some sort but the the word framing also has meaning in the social sciences it means when you frame something in the social sciences it means you're selecting certain kind of ideas that you're going to use in discussing whatever it is you're talking about. In, in this particular case, theory and practice of framing, um, what I'm trying to get at here is the idea that our preconceptions that we come up with in the theory of what we're talking about may not wholly conform to the reality of what we're looking at. And that's represented here by the fact that there are things inside the frame and things that extend outside the frame. So our frame no longer is an adequate way of representing and capturing reality. So you've got bones that are sticking out of the frame, uh, some that are in front of the glass and some that are behind the glass. And here we've got the toothbrush which goes with the with the teeth in this jawbone, and the person who was doing the thinking and the framing completely forgot about the toothbrush. So the toothbrush is not in the frame, and that's a mistake. So that's the idea. So it's a serious idea and, and a humorous idea at the same time, I hope. In other words, a few minutes ago when you said it was hard work, you were lying because this was all fun, wasn't it? <laughs> well, it was also hard work. <laughs> okay. <you know. laughs> Now, there are a lot of pieces here, but I've overheard too numerous number of people, too many people, uh, I've heard a lot of people talking particularly yes. about the spam piece. Oh, the spam piece. Can we go visit that? We can talk about that? Okay, so here we are at the spam piece. Okay, uh, the title of this piece is Acknowledging Contingency. And uh, what, I, what I'm interested in here, one of the things I'm interested in is the role that contingency plays in life. And you can look at that in a, in a lot of different ways. First of all, from an evolutionary point of view, evolution is a process of chance. Things mutate purely on a random basis. And that those kind of mutations and the selection of the results of the mutations is survival of the fittest, that's the basis of all life. That's the, that's the, the theory of evolution. Without that we wouldn't we wouldn't be here. So You've got this, this pair of dice, and one of the dice, if you notice, isn't really falling. It's, it's still propped up. 
so it indicates that the final decision hasn't been made. There's still an element of chance that's yet to play out in this particular picture. Uh, the spam can, uh, that's sort of funny, and I hope it's funny, but <laughs> yes. uh, you know, then, then you get to the idea of, of the whole thing is to, our course in life is very chancy. It's possible we might have wound up in the spam can in another conceivable universe. But in this case, we're here and the spam's there. So uh, it's, uh, again, just a purely a, a random process by which we wind up here or in the spam can. Okay, <laughs> now I've got it. And uh, something about the, uh, the dye, it seems to me they're not dye, actually. Is that cheese? No, no, those are ah, little, okay. little dyes. Oh, right. okay. I mean, originally a lot of dyes were made out of bone, but these are made out of plastic. Okay. But, the, you know, that's sort of the color of the plastic, maybe off a little bit. But, okay. Uh, okay, you can find a lot of things in flea markets. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Which is where I got these. <laughs> Fabulous. What a great, great show. Again, I always loved your work from the very first piece I ever saw. You know that. <laughs> and uh, it, it includes these pieces as well. And so, well thank you, Lon. <laughs> Very inspirational. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be on your video. <laughs> <laughs> the Veracity of Bones. I'm reading you the uh, titles. Crime Scene. Empire of Bones. Metaphysos Watch. Acknowledging Contingency. No one died for this picture. I just told you. Form and function. Entry of the gods into Valhalla. With the exception of the and the right Is that the new one? Healing bones. I mean, is that the new uh no. homage to Francis Bacon? Preference for pretty or dismal at decay. Bone forest. <laughs> Theory and practice of framing. Searching for inspiration. <laughs> what we ha what what have we a right to expect? Six thousand pixels by eight thousand pixels. So you don't want to And subversive ad for an ivory necklace. <laughs> Fantastic.